Good morning. I am Cecil and Blues. Thank you for joining me for this Wildstar Guide. Today we are collecting the Tales from Beyond the Fringe in the Cross Faction Zone Wilderun. This guide is recorded from a Dominion perspective, but the tales in this zone are available to both factions. There are two tales from Beyond the Fringe here. They are split into 18 pages. I cover their locations, but not their contents. I have organized this guide in the order you will likely encounter the pages as you progress through the zone. We start in Discovery Heights. This first page is just east of the road, among some underbrush next to a tree. Our second page remains in Discovery Heights. It is northwest of the road, also among some underbrush. We are still in Discovery Heights. We are northwest of the road. And uh, the best landmark here Double is this kill. radar dish. It is part of a Dominion quest. It is likely not part of an exile quest, but you should still be able to see it. If you head east of there into the Giant's Wall area, you will find your first page behind this wreckage. And there is a second page, fairly nearby, also among the Giant's Wall. And this is, I believe, behind uh, some of the huts or structures that the Taurine have built. It's a little out of the way. And now we can press forward into the zone to the Everpool Approach. This is far east of the road. It's before you go into the Taurine complex itself. It is on the outside wall in the river. Next, we are in an area labeled the Undergrove. This first page is way up in the Hunter's Treehouse. Uh, you have to come up here for a quest. There is a quest giver up here, as well as some other NPCs. Uh, there is jumping mushrooms that take you up top. And also in the Undergrove... Uh, you can find the position on the map. It is just northwest of this fork in the road. That's uh, just kind of laying here among the weeds and bushes. Our final piece of this Tale from Beyond the Fringe is located in an area labeled Sword Point. It is on the statue in that area. It's just right here in the curve. And that should be all nine pages, which will unlock the Maiden's Tale and give you this rather stunning cover art. That will allow us to move forward and start picking up pieces of a perfect strike. Our first piece is in Marshall's Haven. Uh, the, if you think of the Haven as being divided into a west side and an east side, then we are on the west side, picking up our first page. From there, you can head into Kel Ulgar, and there are two different forge areas, one in the north and one in the south. You want to go to the north forge area, and you will find this page right about there. Now if we head into Twilight Grove, there is a page way up on top of this, and the way you climb up there is you go to where I'm notating on the map right now, and you climb up of this vine and make your way into this, I don't know, 
hunter's basket. I, I actually don't know what the purpose of this is. Lookout stand, perhaps? We can then head to Sister's Watch. This uh, becomes a quest hub. It doesn't start as a quest hub, so if you aren't doing the quest in the area, uh, it may not look exactly like this. But uh, this should be sitting here on this bench regardless of whether you've done the quests or not. Our next stop is the Strange Glade. There are a bunch of spider eggs in the area, and among this particular group of them, you will find another page of the Tales from Beyond the Fringe. From here, you will have to go inside the Lumini Hybridization Complex. This requires quest progress, and once you have completed it, you can return here. Uh, but if you look on the minimap, that is where I am located inside the hybridization complex. Our next stop is in Devastation Ridge. This page is in camp, right next to the quest giving NPCs. Our eighth page can be found inside a Pumera Den in an area of the map just labeled Northern Wilderun. If you've missed one page of this uh, particular uh, Tales from Beyond the Fringe, this is the one. There is no other reason to be over here except for finding this page. And our final page can be located in Spire Veil Landing. It is next to the fire elemental boss that you are required to kill for a quest that comes out of Devastation Ridge. And once you pick it up, you will have all nine pages, and it will unlock a perfect strike, as well as some fancy cover art. And there it is. Very nice. That concludes this guide. Thank you for tuning in. If you found this video helpful, please show your support by hitting the like button. If you are looking for more Wildstar content, you can subscribe to the channel. That way you will be notified when new videos are uploaded. You can also follow me on Twitter, at It's Boats, where in addition to providing video updates, I occasionally express opinions. Thank you again, and have a great day.